There we go. Look, Clark, whatever's got your tidy whities in a bunch, now's not the time. So I take it we're skipping over the whole, hello, good to see you again part of the conversation. What do you think you're doing? Just roll with it! I gotta tell you, I never realized how photogenic you were, as long as no one sees your face. Hallmark didn't have any, uh, Welcome Back to Earth cards, so. Right, so, so when you say Jarrell, we talking about the dude in your ice crystal palace thingy? These, these little jellies. Don't look at me, man. Uh, Clark Kent's hosting morning television. I can't wait to watch him show me how to bake a cake. You know, I'm getting you next year for Christmas is a sense of humor. You do know, of course, you look absolutely ridiculous in that, right? What are you gonna do if you get caught? Bite someone? Sorry, guys. I'll make sure you get a nice Christmas bonus. Lex Luthor. With a girl that he doesn't have to inflate. Really? Barkeep, I'm gonna need, um... Uh, some cold, tall, wet, sexy... Very funny. Oh, okay, just give me a second. All right, I'll be back. Well, why didn't you just say so? It's like you got dollar bills, I got pesos, I got, uh... Is that a euro? And I got this purple thing. These are fun. Oh, no, no, no. Hell no. Ollie had to save your scaly butt from getting filleted. <laughs> I would have gotten out of it. Oh, really? Before or after they packed into a thousand little tin cans? I'm not really much of a team player. Really? Well, that's perfect. You're going to fit right in. Did he just say something nice about me? Now, I've been around long enough to know the best way to win a war is to strike first. No, that's the best way to win a bowling tournament, Tweety. All right. Here's the deal. Normally, I don't eat anything with more than 99 legs on it, but I haven't eaten for days. Kind of a bummer for both of us, right? <sighs> okay, you win. Go. Very funny. She's healthy and doesn't remember a thing. Except, of course, the flowers that Clark sent to our hospital room, but who could forget five dozen roses? Five dozen roses. Oh, well, that's subtle. It's his link to his Kryptonian heritage. Yeah. Phantom Zone, huh? Seriously, who names these things? Oh my god, are you okay? South of there by a few horror movies. This is the part where you belt out the Sopranos Aria and drive a dagger into your corset. Well, they're, they're not tights. They're not tights. Is that my email? Chloe, I'll have you know that those messages between me and Canary were purely platonic. Can we skip your virtual love life and actually focus on the job here? Gladly. Great. I, I thought you said it didn't hurt. I lied. It's like they vanished into thin air. You know, that might have something to do with the fact that they can fly. <laughs> yeah, you gotta admit, I know how to treat a girl on date night. Unfortunately for me, uh, that means attending a Luther Corp shareholder dinner, which... Yeah, I'd rather be shot at. There it is. What the hell was that about? You tell me. They came here for a training session, me, and not an audition for Kill Bill 3. What is this? You dropped by to kick my ass again? So much fun for me the first time. The last time, I trust a woman with a dragon tattoo. Nice wheels. Nice leather. I can't believe you wear tights. They're not tights. Rule number one, you don't shoot your date. Rule number two, think about your wardrobe choices. You pick me up at 7. 7.30 it is. No, please, don't stop getting undressed on my account. They're not tights. They look like tights. What, what is that? Uh... Your tip. It's a tip. Okay. Seriously, aim higher. Listen, um... Wanna go get us a drink? Okay, you just wait here. And, uh, don't talk to anybody. I have enjoyed courting you against your will this evening. Ah, well, don't worry about it, Clark. You know, I mean, if I lived under the same roof with such a beautiful woman, I probably would have masked my feelings in sarcasm, too. You know that whole sugar and spice thing? Never really took with you, did it? Hey. Well, Lois. You got any bagpipes to go with that outfit there, Lassie? I mean, you guys are having a little fun. It's cute. My blind date is with you. Well, technically, your blind date's leaving in the elevator. Ow, ow, ow! I can't believe you didn't tell me you were Green Arrow. Hard to imagine why when you're taking it so well. Mm. That's for breaking my heart. Really? Because it felt like it was for not calling when I got back into town. 
Uh oh, I've seen that look before. Usually, right before you sock me in the jaw. Do you repeat that? 